How's it going guys? Lucas here. Let me introduce you to the pumpkin generator. So just type pumpkin and create the pumpkin generator node. You can see you only have very limited settings. Um, that's actually wanted because everything happens automatically inside. So the only thing you have to worry about is the version of your file cache, um, the wedge count, which specifies how many pumpkins you want. So I will do 10 for now. And then a seed, which is randomizing the values inside. So you can set it to a, a value you like, or just generate a first batch and then see uh, another seed maybe if it looks better or not. So to generate the pumpkins, you just have to click this little pumpkin icon and then say save and continue and then wait until the pop-up comes up that says that the generation is done. That can take a few minutes, depending on your system. So now the generation done window popped up, so we can hit OK. Actually make sure we are visualizing the node, make sure we hit reload, just to make sure we are actually seeing the latest version. And now you can see you have um, 10 different pumpkins of all like sizes and shapes. They're not rotated differently. So you need to do that if you want to scatter them on a field or whatever. Um, but you have two outputs. Um, one of them is like the preview that shows you all pumpkins side by side. They are all packed. And the other one is the packed input where all pumpkins are in zero and touching the ground. And from there you can go and scatter the, them on a field or put them in an RBD simulation or whatever you would like to do with those. So yeah, have fun with, with that little tool. Um, enjoy it and see you soon.